we've got to understand the, the political dynamics. My understanding is that uh, the, the Minneapolis aspect of this has to, is, is part and parcel of the total bill, and if it doesn't come out of the Minneapolis City Council, we can almost forget about everything else in terms of this, uh, this whole initiative. So there, it, 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 it's a very fragilely put together uh, piece of, two pieces of legislation that have to work together. If they don't, uh, nothing works. Until you see all those things come together, it is very difficult. And I actually respect our members not wanting to say, well, you know, yeah, I'll go on a, a women of prayer and say, well, if Minneapolis thinks they'll be there, then I'll vote for it. I mean, it's very important for them. And it's, it's important for uh, the advocates to also respect that until you see all the things in front of you, to do all the pieces of the puzzle in front of you. It's hard to say, I'm for this, I'm against that, I like this, I don't like that. Just, are you open to being one of those 68 members at this point? I, until we see a bill, I, I'm not going to say whether I vote for or against it. Well, but uh, but that wasn't my question. Whether I'm, my question is, are you open to saying this is some a Viking Stadium with potentially public money, whether it's pull tabs or anything else, is something that no, I could support? That yet. So if this is a priority for Minnesotans, then we should see leadership with regard to that, both you know from Senator Senjum and Speaker Zellers. I'm a little less. Um, harsh about uh, Senator Senjum because he's been part of that working group and yet I haven't seen the role of a uh, House leadership, uh, particularly uh, Speaker Zellers. Do you, do you think it's fair for the Speaker to say, which he said repeatedly, that he's not going to take an opinion for or against until he sees the bill, at which point then he can say more? Do you think that that's not enough? Well, I, I think it's dodging because I think he actually knows what's going to be in the bill. I mean pretty much what's going to be in the bill. They, we announced it like it was a big change, but actually nothing's different than what we've been saying for several weeks. And so I presume Speaker Zellers has an opinion, and I'm interested in what it is. But I'm hopeful that Speaker Zellers will be one of the co-authors. I don't know if that'll happen or not, but I think it's important for leadership to take responsibility for the matters that are before the legislature. Well, Senator. I, my biggest concern is the separation of the target center from the stadium proposal. Personally, what does that mean? I think that I, 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 it sounds like they're going to run two separate bills, and I think uh, it would it, two separate bills: one for the kind of dealing with the non-stadium issues, and one dealing with the stadium issues. Uh, I would like to see those together Why? because it's in the interest of my city so that they're together. But I guess they're saying the city council is saying, or the mayor Ryback is saying, we're not going to act on one unless we get both. Yeah. So I understand that. I would. I know how things operate around here. And so I would, my preference would be that they would run together.